It's a returning champion, Elgin Tensity, aka Affirmative Traption. And all of that is still Tess Holiday. I say still because she claimed to be anorexic in 2021. If so, then she's yet another giant landmass whose internal problem ended in a day. The body positive activist went to the UN building to participate in a panel about eating disorders. Let's hear more from the morbidly obese health expert who miraculously left the UN without hijacking a single food helicopter. Hey y'all, I'm at the airport and I'm so fully processing that I spoke at the UN yesterday. And it was the first time that they have talked about eating disorders inside the walls of the UN. In 2015, a young Swedish student discussed eating disorders at the UN. She still works in this field, so she could have been a better panelist, but Holiday could have filled more seats, not to mention attracted more attendees. And I think I cried so many times just thinking about that moment. I'm wearing, I'm wearing Anna Nicole Smith today, um, <laughs> you know, our queen. Between her shirt design and her diagnosis, I count two Annas that don't exist. And, you know, Elisa Donovan, um, who's Amber from Clueless, <laughs> the reason I'm a redhead. I'm not surprised that a vacuous loser like Tess Holliday based her image on a redhead from the 90s, but I am surprised that the redhead wasn't hoggish greedly. Moderated the panel. She also has um, suffered with an ED in the past, and I just kept thinking, what is my life? I'm like this trailer trash from Mississippi, sitting on this panel next to Harvard professors. Oxford invited a porn chick to be a speaker, so professors will hang out with anybody as long as they're famous. Bonus points if it's from treating their bodies like dumpsters. And now for the only clip of Holiday's morbidly obese version of the TED Talk, the Tess Oink. I'm sure many in the room know that with weight discrimination, we see this showing up in, in schools, with downgrading by teachers, uh, with admission to college. We see it in the workplace, not people not getting people in larger bodies, not being hired, not getting promoted, getting lower salaries. That's a lot of words to say obesity makes you miserable, so back away from the feeding trough. Too bad this was a panel instead of a debate, because Holiday preaches the opposite message. Also, it's odd that she has an army of people to remove the stretch marks from her pictures, but nobody to edit the misspellings in her captions. F your writing standards. She ignored everything that popped up on the screen like someone just took her blood pressure. At Tess, after hearing the research from Brynn, as somebody who's navigated the beauty and modeling industries for quite a while, how has this shown up in your career? Tess Holliday only has a career because of her absolute unit status, so she can't talk about how fat phobia kept her down. Brands actually pay that blob to make them look better. Case in point, she hasn't butt splashed onto the stage, which is a testament to the quality of those chairs. Well, I don't think that there's any surprise that um, we have been affected in the plus size modeling industry and um, as she was sharing overall by um, deep issues that are rooted in racism. I mean, the fact that folks despise larger bodied individuals roots back to racism. It all roots back to racism. She's so delusional about her beauty that she thinks she's in a pageant. Why come up with an original thought when you can use a buzzword and immediately win the crowd? If she really believed this nonsense, she'd have offered her spot to Lizzo, even though that crowd looks like it would invite her to Armitage Bingo after this. And until the country actually addresses the violence that with world peace frankly white supremacists and white folks are causing to people of color and the systems um, that uphold those um, it's going to it's going to continue to happen and those numbers are shocking like her lipid panel she is of course talking out of her front butt violence has nothing to do with obesity just because a punch can cause a fat lip also, it's natural to be disdainful of extremely fat people of any color, as they're unhealthy and make poor life choices. Holiday calling herself beautiful doesn't change the fact that her dress can cover that room better than Spawn's cape. But it's not a surprise. I mean, it's not been very popular to come out and talk about having my type of eating disorder publicly. Because it can be debunked at the sight of her. Donovan probably thought Holiday would discuss overeating, only to find out that her laundry pile shaped guest would tell the audience that she somehow undereats. Elisa Donovan presents Clueless 2, Dysmorphic Boogaloo. It's impacted my career, it's impacted um, so many things. Except her weight. She claims to have one of the deadliest EDs, yet has none of its effects, which is like suffering from vampirism but not turning to dust in the sunlight. We should call Tess Holiday the Day Waddler. 
A legitimate panel about EDs would grill her about trivializing anorexia, hurting her fans by glorifying obesity, and hurting herself by refusing to lose weight. Tess is basically the Titan, a poorly built body that'll implode due to hubris and take a bunch of idiots down with it. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel, now.